Hello everyone, my name is Shelly Calhoun-Jones and I'm a Principal Technologist here at Cohesity. Today I'll show you how you can use Cohesity Data Protect delivered as a service to recover a PostgreSQL database running on Amazon RDS to a self-managed database server. But why is this important? Let's delve into a common scenario of a company transitioning into the cloud. They have on-prem data and several AWS accounts. They recently migrated a multi-tier application to Amazon EC2, S3, and a PostgreSQL database on Amazon RDS. But after evaluating RDS, the organization decided to host the database on Amazon EC2. They're okay handling the maintenance, including patching, upgrading, replication, and backing up the database. In this video, we'll introduce the new RDS ingest feature and show you how you can recover a PostgreSQL database from RDS to a self-managed database server. To access Data Protect, I can click on the Protection menu and select Data Protect as a service. In the Sources section, you can set up protection for virtual or physical workloads. You can also set up connections for your databases and applications. So in this example, we can see different sources, including an AWS account up here at the top. And so in this example, we can see that we have tabs for Amazon EC2, RDS, and S3. And you'll notice that up at the top, we have the ability to filter by either protected or unprotected resources. In this example, we already have a resource that's protected, and I can access this resource within the RDS section. In this example, we have a database that I'll restore to an Amazon EC2 instance. Let's go ahead and take a look at how this recovery will work. On this screen, it'll prompt me to choose where to recover. I can either choose the original Amazon EC2 instance, or I can choose a new instance, which is helpful if I want to create a non-production copy of my database for testing purposes. Other reasons could be that I'm separating the database for security or compliance purposes, or maybe I'm relocating this database to a different part of the infrastructure, or perhaps I need a larger RDS instance for scaling purposes. Now the other option, which is what we're gonna focus on, is helpful if my organization has decided to move back to using a self-managed database, which can sometimes be more cost-effective than RDS. The other possibility would be, uh, perhaps I have a longer retention window and my organization needs this. So when I choose this option, I'll select my region and let me just go ahead and scroll down to North Virginia. And then I'm going to actually put in some network information. Okay, we have our, we have our information uh, pre-populated. You can see that I've entered in the region, I've entered in the IP address, the port, and the credentials. You'll also notice that I am going to choose to overwrite existing objects because I've actually tested this recovery before as I was preparing to record a video on it. So I have an environment set up and what I'll do here in just a moment, uh, once we've initiated the recovery is we'll actually log into my brand new self-managed database server and we'll verify that this database is recovered. All right, looks like it's already created a clone from our backup snapshot. It's starting the restore job, looking pretty good. Um, while this is running, let's go ahead and just take a look at some other options here. So you can see that it has the options that I created uh, within that recovery view. Uh, it's going to use that prefix 
SCJ recover, it's going to show my username and then also the recovery type. So that's pretty cool. And we can see that it's already at 50%. Wow. And um, if I go back into the recovery activity, we can see that now we're, ooh, oh my goodness. Look at that. We've already completed the restore. If we want to go and validate that the recovery did complete, uh, I have a tool on here called PG Admin. This is a free tool that you can download uh, for PostgreSQL databases. And if I open up the console, we're going to see two databases here. So Postgres is a database that I recovered in an earlier test. But the one that we just completed uh, within Cohesity Data Protect is this SCJ Recover Postgres database. And so you can see that the recovery did complete successfully. And so we can now move our multi-tier application and point it to the new database that we have running on our self-managed database server. And this completes the demonstration. We took a look at the new RDS ingest feature, went through a recovery of a PostgreSQL database from Amazon RDS to a self-managed database server running on Amazon EC2. Thanks for watching.